Thank you. Here at Kachikali crocodile pool, and we're gonna let me just give you more footage of the crocodile itself. We're gonna have a few brave people. They're gonna uh, remember the main thing is not to touch the crocodile head because it'll feel threatened. But you can touch any other parts of the body. Let me make sure. Let's get some volunteer. Son, would you like to volunteer? Body is like a massage. Our brother Uzman say he's gonna volunteer. Okay. Yeah. 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 Very fast, take Whoa. on like, 30 kilometers an hour. But don't run about, don't run away from this one. You can sit down. No worry. They, they won't bite you, right? Just, no, they're, they're, just yes, climb, they climb, they up the, climb up the tree, don't let it, can climb the trees. No, stay, just stay calm, just stay calm. <laughs> it's gonna stop walking. If you wanna touch it, you have to be behind it like this. You touch it gently, all right? You wanna come, boy? Uh, no. No. <laughs> you wanna come? I'm sure. I'm sure. Has anybody ever put the. the <laughs> don't go to the side. No, no, no. Just come from behind. And don't put, don't put your hands in the mouth. Unless you need a bit. You want to see snakes, eh? Yeah. No, I don't want to go down there. My dinner. <laughs> So this is actually the area that we walked in and we walked uh, around this way. The family since this uh, crocodile pool was close to the hotel. Uh, this is our first stop before we do our regular city tour. Don't act a fool, man. <laughs> I got you right here. Sit down. And so you gotta watch out for the one that's behind you. <laughs> one more time, I didn't get it. Black turkey. I never thought I'd be this damn close to a fucking crocodile. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, no, no kidding. But, but I guess it depends on how they raise. Some are probably raise to. You know, as I said, if if I was feeding them with red meat, it'd be a different story. Like this, and if it is water, as ten months ago, so I would not allow. I would not allow anyone of us to be this close. Because yeah, ten months ago they like they were mad because ten months without food. You can imagine, yeah. you know, that yeah. is so serious. So that's why I have to control the population so I can able to sustain them. Maybe in how future, do you, how do you control it? by taking the eggs away so that they will, not, they will not get babies. Maybe if I have government support in future, which I would do. So what you do with the eggs when you take them away? I get rid of the eggs. I, I'll, I'll get only one left. I'll show you on the way out there. The eggs is so small. When they, when they lay eggs, they go out in the bush, they make holes, put the eggs mm -hmm. there, and they bury it. It will take them three months. And also, it will depend on the temperature to determine the sex, which one is a male or female. When the temperature is high okay, up, sir. most of the babies coming out from the eggs will be females. When the temperature drop low down, that will be boys. So mm -hmm. when they hide these eggs, if I leave them, when they hide it, the mother crocodile will carry the younger ones in the mouth, and bring them to the water. And that's where she will become a territorial mother for nine months. The nine months, nobody go to that territory where the babies are. No other crocodile. You know, because in real nature, a male crocodile will kill most of the young crocodiles, especially young male crocodiles, because they don't want competition in between. Right. Right. 
So that's why they kill them. But sometimes also, a hungry will cause them to eat each other. They become cannibals. Mm -hmm. That's happened in the wild. Because they, in the wild, they can live for 12 months without food, and they go for anything. They eat each other, and they will go for anything. You know, also because they don't have a tongue in the mouth, so there's no test of the food, so they have no choice. They can eat anything. So that's why in here, I have to be very specific of what they have to eat. That has to be only fish. There you go, train yeah, beer, family. Fish. No meat, huh? no chicken, yeah. Okay. I don't want them to smell blood to food. Okay. Yep. So that's the secret of a family? Yeah, they have seen the albino. Yeah, albino. This is not easy to see the white one. You say, yeah. People come that's here for more than five times. They pay ticket five times. They can't see this white one. Yeah, I swear to the whole crowd, they can't see it. I don't know, you two are lucky guys. You see, this is albino. I've seen an albino. This is the first time. Yeah. Yeah. This, in this, you see, this is the white one. Yeah. Yeah. It's the white one. So what's the significance of it uh, being that color? Uh, uh, how see, you can color? have one million crocodile. You might only lucky to get albino, one albino there. Right. So it is not natural to get crocodile or animals like that. Yeah. Not how only long? crocodile. So, oh. No, uh -huh. Cut this short. I'm yeah. sorry. Go yeah. ahead. I was going to ask how old, how long do they, you know, what's the life expectancy of them? 100 years old. 100? Um, one of the oldest one I've got, he's 76 years old. And in here, they will, he's 2.5 meters because they wouldn't go more than that size. Because they only grow to the size of the pond they're living, like fishes. They only grow to the size of the environment they're living. Oh, okay. 250 kilos per day. Uh, he's asking how much amount uh, of food they eat. And I said 250 kilos of fish in a day. Because you have to make sure they all get enough food, then they will not be paying attention to one another to eat each other, or they will not see us as food. You know, so that's why 250 kilos is given to them. Yeah. I hear you. That's perfect. We just walked by right here. I don't remember seeing these crocodiles right here. No, when no. we were going, there was no, no, only one of them. The guy there. called them. So the guy, my colleague, just went to say, come on. Come on. Come they on. have their own side. So yeah. they're they yeah. just go. Fellow like, brothers and uncles from America want to see you. <laughs> come on, come on. So they'll come. Okay. So most of them are now. Come on, talk. We have a picture. Yes. They found these things are very fast. Yeah. So the best thing I could tell you if one of these things that ever chase you in real life is climb up a tree. Right. And that is the pool family. Yes, man, this is amazing. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you very much. So, family, we learned a lot right there. If you feed <laughs> crocodiles certain things, it'll, yeah. it'll be trained behavior. Just like if you were to feed them um, you know, white meat, the other white meat, also, well, they'll be so, used to and want to keep eating it. This is my this is a book, too, which oh. we are free to everybody. It's, oh, a, food, yeah, it's a support to buy food for the crocodiles. Okay. Uh, when you finish to have eight to them. And perfect, yeah, we definitely give some donations. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's been here since July? Yeah. And mistaken. Oh, mistake. Mistake, yeah. 
Okay. At family, so you know we do it. You know, go around, support the roots and culture, and give you a nice feel. But this is it, family. We're gonna we're gonna take you down to the actual pool itself. So I guess if you're being chased by a crocodile, you climb up a tree and you're, and you're okay. <laughs>